I'm about ready to make the best Alfredo that is vegan and whole food plant-based that you'll probably ever taste. It is so delicious. So um, before I get started, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's do this. One half cup of veggie broth. You can use whatever veggie broth you want to, except for I do recommend that you use one that does not have any added sugar. Yes, there are ones out there that you can buy that actually add freaking sugar. So don't use those. I made my own, so I'm using that right here. And if you don't know how to make it, it's super easy. Fill a pot full of any veggies that you like, roughly cut into big chunks. Um, then you just fill the rest of the pot with water and boil on medium high for about 40 minutes and it is great. Put some spices in there. I like to add garlic and cayenne, but some people don't like to add spices just because they want to have variety when they're cooking with it. Um, that's up to them and that's great. But anyway, have a cup of this stuff. Next, add half a cup of unsweetened whatever non-dairy milk you want to. It doesn't matter what you use. I like soy milk. That's just me. It's not bad for you like people think it is. That's a myth, and I will post a um, link here to a video that um, shows how soy is actually good for you. Next, we're going to add some spices. So I like a lot of garlic. I'm going to stick a ton in there, probably about two tablespoons worth, because um, I'm going to make a lot of sauce. Then just a couple of dashes of black pepper and two pinches of salt. But by pinches, I kind of mean large pinches. Um, but just salt to taste, because obviously salt's really super powerful, so don't overdo it, because that could really ruin the sauce. I almost forgot sage. Oh, this really helps make the sauce. So, again, I really like this stuff, so I'm probably going to put at least half a teaspoon in here. And obviously, if you're not a fan, you can skip it, or if you really are, you can put more if you want to. It's totally up to you, but about a half teaspoon is what I'm going to go for. Now I'm going to add the raw cashews. Um, now if you don't like using raw cashews because they have too much fat for your liking, then you could probably do um, some firm tofu and blend that all up together. That's fine, and maybe just a few cashews or you can skip them all together if you really need to or if you're allergic to nuts or something. Um, but I'm going to put a half a cup of raw cashews in here. Um, so let's give me a second real quick. So in that goes, and, um, that's kind of stuck there, all right. And that's kind of what you have. It's sort of gross looking, but, um, it ends up being completely delicious. Trust me. Now, I usually put this on the smoothie setting, um, but, you know, some people might not have a blender. That does this if you don't have a high power blender don't freak out just soak your cashews for a couple of hours and then just blend them in a regular blender with all the rest of this stuff so let me put the lid on and get to blending all right i know that my vitamix looks disgusting and i get that but that's because it's really hard to get this freaking thing actually clean and vitamix is kind of known for that problem so that's the only bad thing about having a vitamix but if you have ideas about how to get this thing actually clean, well, I mean, it's clean. I mean, it actually is clean. It's just, it's stained. So if you have any advice about that, I'm happy to hear that. Okay, so I'm going to try this right now and let you know if it needs anything else. That's pretty freaking good. I could add a little tiny bit more salt. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so let's try this again. That is absolutely delicious. Okay, so again, I added a lot of garlic, enough to where it's pretty spicy. If you don't like garlic that much, maybe put one, um, one tablespoon instead of two. Now I topped it off on top of a ravioli that we made last night and um, I did not film that process but I will 
put a link in the description box below to the recipe that we used. This is absolutely delicious. And I just sprinkled a little more sage on top of the sauce right here. And um, this is dinner. So I hope that you enjoy this and that you will find it to be a great um, plant-based whole food recipe for Alfredo. I know that I have an earlier video on a turmeric, ver turmeric version of Alfredo. It doesn't look as appetizing and I certainly think that this one tastes better. So I hope you like it. Please give this video a thumbs up and leave comments in the comment section below and please subscribe if you haven't already. I really appreciate everybody. Take care. Ciao.